Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of UFO 50. I feel like trying a new game today. And I still have like 20 here that I haven't played. Um... I could play more in vanilla maybe. Let's see. So many to choose from. Maybe I'll just do Capital. I didn't get too far into this. No, apparently it's a uh, score base. Oh, that's such a rinky dink little uh, hit thing. I was worried about running out of fuel. I maybe should have gone for that though. I don't know how much score matters. Is that a collectible? <laughs> I knew it. That area just looked too conspicuous. There's also an area down there that looks kind of conspicuous. Flash the crystals. Fuel up there. I thought that green thing was fuel, but maybe there's no fuel to worry about. Oh my gosh, I couldn't get a single one of those. Is the red thing fuel? Oh, it's the guys from uh, the arcade game. The umbrella dudes. Alright, you get a lot of one up in the team. Hundred percent laziness. Can I kill those donuts? I wonder. Okay, that was hundred percent my bad there. Oh, you can die, and that keeps the coffee there. Okay. Oh, and copies give uh, one ups. That's nice. Whoa, that was close. Oh boy. Okay, three green. I still don't know what that means. I want those. Do those do anything? Oh, okay. Do I have to hit the flashing ones? Oh, if you ram into them, they die. Huh. 
Stage A clear. Two copies. Got the first two, I guess. crash into you to get them out of the way. Oh, or you can hit them. Okay. That's good. That makes it a lot easier. <laughs> the coffee is. I have no idea where the coffee is. I don't feel like looking. That was not as good as the first bonus. <laughs> Oh, that kills you, okay. There's a green thing to the right. You can stay in the bubble as long as you want, I think. That's mean. Oh no! That like sends it down.
bro. My hubris knows no bounds, huh? Really? No, it's so weak. The little hit that I do. I think this doesn't have a timer. It might be impossible. Is it done? Okay. A little bit anticlimactic, but it's no like, but but da da. how that works. There has to be a trick to that. So you don't hit it and you don't run into it. Huh. I don't know if I feel like playing that more. I kind of have to play it at some point so the sequels. This one is one I've been meaning to check out since the trailer actually. It's like a tower defense game. I didn't remember which one it was, though. For years, the humans and dinosaurs have rock on. I don't live in harmony, but one day a mysterious pink UFO passed overhead. <laughs> Four dinosaurs, the strongest of their tribes, find the objects. Gave them the curse of intelligence, they decided to drive the humans away by attacking their caves. One by one, the humans were driven out until only the village of peace remained Zola. The young chief took over command of the remaining humans. She vowed to take the island back. I thought we were going to get to play as the dra dinos for a second. Assemble the four dinos to reclaim the land for the human from the humans. Okay, world map is giving me uh, camouflage vibes. reset the game here. I didn't really get how you play it. Oh nice, that's skippable. The dinosaurs will try to reach your cave and damage it. If they do enough damage, then you lose, so protect it at all costs. on the path around rocks. I wonder what the chicken does. Spears are strong, but you can throw rocks much more quickly. Bows can shoot arrows really far away. That sounds good. I want bows. Okay. It's the wheel. Sell the chickens to get 10 meat. Do they make meat over time? Okay. So 
they have to be next to it. Chickens lay eggs and they can be cooked. I can add another caveman there. So I have 10 left, so I could add a caveman, like, right here would be good. And then I could add a fire next to it, and then another caveman there. Do I have to collect those? See what happens when you get cooked. Okay, all these dinos are getting cooked. a chicken there it gets cooked over two rounds and it makes back a lot of money okay how do I get bows that one lady said I could upgrade them into bows Maybe rock upgrades into bow? Alright, let's try that. Although I might not get to see what it does because it's so late on. Spear upgrades to bow, okay. Oh yeah, he's shooting. So a final wave means I should probably sell all my chickens. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, start wave. There we go. We kind of cooked them. 20 meat. Oh, maybe you want to conserve the most meat at the end? Not sure if you can rank by that. Alright, initial encounter.
How do I start? There we go. Here I can turn into bow. Come on, kill him! Oh, that wasn't great. Alright, let's see how good Rock 2 is. Oh, that looks nice. option, I guess. wheel for this guy. All's wheel that ends wheel. Do I need something special to do with these guys or are they just really tanky? I should put another bowman like right here. That would be good. Because then they could hit up here. No, they're riding the thing now. I'm not really sure what big wheel does. Oh, it just throws a wheel, okay. That makes sense. I do want to get like fire two or something. I was gonna say, I think everyone's leveled up, but these guys aren't. Um, I guess I'll just use the rest to just have a basic guy over here that gets buffed by the fire. Oh yeah, those two bowmen are really good there. 
Look how fast we're killing them. Does this guy get double buffed? Oh, he doesn't have anything in depth about how that works. Tar. It's not unlocked yet, maybe? Oh, flamethrower! <laughs> that's cool. So that's like the mid range. Kinda really good at hurting everyone a little bit. Man, the cheetahs are, are getting thrown up hard. Maybe I want that guy to be a bow, I don't know. Let's do rock too, because that just shoots a little faster. I think I'd rather get a level 2 upgrade here. Spear is pretty good. Just put like one more guy out there. That looks pretty good. Alright, big guy, are we gonna get ya? We're working on it. Posted, okay. Not perfect, because I think I lost some health early. 26. Oh, it costs 10 to dig that. Oh, no. Well, not what I meant to do. if you could see their attack range. Sorry. You guys chill out, please.
No, no one shot that one. Come on, guys. I can't do it all myself. the differences between the classes. I think fire is good against armor. Yeah. So maybe having this guy be fire as well would be nice. I thought maybe you could, like, restore health there. Oh, that loses one if you die. Okay. So dying is not great. Oh, get sniped. fire enemies or not. Oh, are the bows too slow to hit the cheetahs? are also missing. Is there anything missing? Can you guys please shoot the flying creatures instead? Okay, I came over. I don't know how I could have done better. It didn't say anything about the flying creature's weaknesses. Ooh. I don't know, this game's kind of annoying.
I like how it has a smiley face after the one up. One up coming to you. Just wriggle the control stick the game. Nice, I didn't drop my truck once. Is it gonna say how many I missed? <laughs> okay, nice. You missed 50 billion ships. Get the coin. Those orbs are in power-ups. Not in the hard way. Aha, I picked one up. Acquired power-up. Death. that the gumballs. Yes.
Maybe the real sunset is the friends we made along the way. Well, now it's not sunset, so I consider myself as having beaten this game. Oh shit, I didn't think that would actually be an enemy. I thought that was just a bonus like Space Invaders. Then it shot at me. Oh! That was unexpected. Hello Golem, welcome back. Oh, <laughs> a whale. Oh. <laughs> okay. So where does that put me? Back on the start of stage 4 here? Oh, it puts me all the way at the start. I'm gonna lurk super late here. I would play again, but my thumb gets kind of tired from having to go back and forth the whole time. It'd be easier if it was a twin stick shooter. But even so, you have to like wiggle it every two seconds to keep the charge up. I don't know why that's a thing. Apparently there's a cheese strat in this that got discovered, because I was Checking the UFO Discord to try to see what people were doing. Oh, <laughs> it's just that easy. Just back up and then press A and X. Oh, I didn't press A. 
Because he can roll backwards. <laughs> to be fair, this is the easy AI. Oh my gosh, that's so broken. Oh? Maybe it is returnable. <laughs> that feels very mean. I think I was doing it too early earlier. Yoshido Lob, it's so true. Normally I wouldn't cheese, but this particular game, the AI on round 5 and 6 are just broken. Or wait, 4 and 5. I was counting myself as a player. Yeah, they actually just can't hit it, even with that big spear. <laughs> You just roll into the wall and slash, it's that easy. Played hard for a bit? Oh, nice. Oh my gosh, I'm getting sauced on on the by the round two guy. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> The thing is, is that they totally deserve it. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're saucing. I don't think that even lobbed it. They did have it coming. If you watched my last few Let's Plays, where I gave it my all, and they just... It's just impossible if you don't do this. <laughs> I don't know what the flags do. I'm guessing if you have three, you the game over. <laughs> you tried to turn into a log. Like that would help. Just to mix things up there. Oh, and then you hit him with old reliable.
We gotcha. Alright, one more. Can this be enough to beat the, the round 5 CPU? I love how long it takes to select that. Like, hmm, I wonder who it will be. Oh, yeah. Look at that look at betrayal. I wonder if they're gonna patch that. <laughs> Five in a row, can we get six? Six in a row. I love the thought that this guy is thinking each time that he's moving up. Oh, I bet they're gonna not do that again. <laughs> Tomo sways casually amidst the howling cheers of the crowd. A sly smile slowly forces its way upon her serious face as she sheaths her blade with a steady hand. I'll get you next time, shouts Kotaro over the noise, grinning. Sure you will, Tomo chuckles as she turns and disappears into the crowd. Oh, I thought I had to play more. Those are the credits. What's the stage in the game? Is this a secret stage? Maybe this is a just for the credit stage. On fire, so true. I think I just got my character. I'll have to check after though. I think cherry clear might be one with all six characters. There's probably secret characters with codes too, I bet. does this go on? Until one of them wins, I guess. Tomo, you can do it! Yeah! <laughs> I should tell the CPU about a little trick where you lob. If you play this on multiplayer, you're definitely gonna have to, like, gentleman's agreement to not use that. <laughs> Come on, Tomo! Oh! <laughs> the chain usage? and hyper, huh? I didn't know that those things were there. Oh, I did get cherry clear. Slick. I cheated. <laughs> and what do we get for Bushido Ball? 
uh, orangutan, which I don't think is even in the game. But yeah, that's our fifth cherry clear. Nice. Alright, if you enjoyed this cherry clear, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. I am going to keep streaming though. So 57 minutes in. Bushido. Cherry clear. Oh yeah, I highlighted the uh, the last mod. If you ever want to go back and look at that. There was one suspense play that was like a first person dungeon crawler I wanted to check out. Is that this? Oh no, this is like a cowboy game. I'll come back to that. This one is Lords of Disconia. I don't think this is it. This looks kind of like a board game. It's a bit interesting. I know it was one of the later ones. Whoa, what is this? You probably shouldn't have left the party angry. I think this is different, but I kind of want to play it now. <laughs> Amy was out of line, but then again, she's been going through a lot. Wait, what's that? Oh, this is a sequel to that uh, night party game. Oh no, I hit someone. Whoopsie. Mom's knife reference? It's probably just a generic knife. Horror and dread player discretion advised. So cool. Where am I? You mutters. You wake up in a strange room. The last thing you remember is driving your car. And then you hit something in the road? Disoriented, you try to make sense of your new surroundings. I love this typeface. Alright, we got blood on the wall. Small and dingy storage room has been repurposed as a holding cell. Years of dirt and grime cling to the walls. Oh, this is like the uh, the lumpy touch Garfield thing. I I'm sorry. I cleared out the dust from the from the rob. I'm gonna sneeze again. Maybe we'll see. I'm gonna stop reading out loud. I'm gonna keep reading in my head. You Lost his mind, why? Alright, I guess we have to leave. Um, is there anything else in here I need? Try using the spoon on the bed, maybe? No! What would the bowl be used for? Always stretches out before you with a staircase at the end. Pale moonlight shines in from a door to your left. Oh, look at the fungus growing. What the heck?
Interesting. Can I scoop it to make some mushroom cereal? Simple tile floor bathroom is fairly clean despite the cloying smell of mildew hanging in the air. Oh, it's a skeleton. Modified corpse is encrusted with mold and fungi. Something in its hand catches your eye. Huh. Oh, I can't get out? Don't bring me back there, I just wanted to look. Oh, okay. I can't look at the, uh, the shower. Head. This isn't where I came out of. I must have come out of that last door. Bedroom appears to have common amenities but nothing too specific, indicating that it's possibly a guest room. Single hook. I spent the past few days sick in bed with some kind of flu headache nausea. Today I was finally able to hold down some solid food. Being a flu clearer, but I like to believe that it helped. <coughs> Interesting. Katana Zero reference? Oh no. Okay, what's this thing now? Things have been tense with Cheryl since losing my job at the firm. I had to calmly explain to her that our financial system is not in jeopardy and that she can continue working on her fashion design projects without having to worry about anything. I'm still pretty irritated, so I think I'm going to try a cup of that relaxation tea now. Wait, what's that backpack? Huh. Maybe I keep all my extra stuff in a backpack? Can't do anything with that. Batteries, okay. Interesting. Maybe I need a ladder? Oh, that's where I just was. Huh. 
front. I need that ring. I don't know what I need it for, but I do. Oh, this is a new area. The spacious living room might have been a cozy place to relax if you'd come to this house on better terms. So who brought me here? Be important. A portrait of a couple and their children. They seem happy. I have another chocolate bar. That tea seems important. Oh, this is a big place. Wait, what? I ended up in a different spot. Oh, this is where I started. I don't think there's anything else to do in there. So is this where I came from? No, this is here. Any gas? This could be abandoned. Oh, dining room. I haven't been there. Find wooden tables surrounded by six chairs at the center of this lavish dining room. Is there a save? I don't think so. Oh, there's a map so that shows which way stuff is. <laughs> Just use the spoon <laughs> to throw it at the thing.
for. They're not in order. Today I was in the sunroom enjoying a cup of that tea. I would just ignore it, but I'm built different. Can I have that? That wasn't the right button. How do I escape that? Oh, there we go. Is that guy alive, do you think? Hey, buddy. Around suddenly, you're raising a very large cleaver in his hand. You begin to tremble in fear. It feels like an eternity. You hear them turn around and leave. Despite your fear, you survived. Today I was outside enjoying my tea when one of the landscapers bumped into my cup and spilled it on the ground. Max ran over and started lifting up the puddle immediately. Instead of being mad, I just laughed. You knew dogs like tea. This seems like something I have to Google. Do dogs like tea? Um, dogs can't drink tea due to its caffeine content. Even decaffeinated tea contains small amount of caffeine, so it's not recommended. Some dogs can appreciate the pleasant taste of herbs or spices found in tea. Huh. Alright, I thought this was going to be like a two sentence horror thing where it's like, if dogs drink tea, they die immediately. And it's bad. Ooh, yummy. Let's grab that knife. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Let's see, swimming pool outside. 
Here in this dusty garage is a bouquet of mildew and motor oil. <laughs> oh, I bet I can uh, start a fire with that. Oh, nice, now we can go upstairs. That was either six or eight. It was eight. Baxter's been vomiting. Oh, I knew it! I knew the dog would get sick from the tea. She thinks it was my tea that made him sick. Unbelievable. I have to wait until tomorrow morning. Oh! That's the ghost of Baxter that we just saw, but then he turned into an evil person. This looks like duct tape I could take. Yeah! Something I'm a gamer myself. I want to not waste the battery. I don't know if I could turn it off though. I haven't lost its adhesive powder. Okay, now we have a lot of stuff to play with. Yeah, it's the garage. We've been in the garage. The smell of chlorine hangs faintly in the cool wet air as the sound of crickets drone throughout the night. That seems like a body. I guess that's fair. <laughs> Stone lion statues around the game. I feel like I should write down these colors. So it starts out uh, spring green. Red sun. Yellow leaves. White wind. As if to hold something. Okay. You can't do anything with that. Despicable V Victor moment. Okay. Okay, that shed doesn't sound good. Or that cellar, which I have to figure out how to get through, I think. Probably need a key for that, I bet. The knife doesn't work. Ah, you don't know how to use tweezers on a lock. You gotta watch lockpicking lawyer sometime. Wait, fungus? Oh my 
gosh, everything is locked. Guess I'll have to explore the second floor, which I kind of don't want to do. Because it's spooky. Spooky. Okay, what's back here? Wow, there's a lot to this game. Moldy cherry? I could have thrown at the bad guy and poisoned him. Oh my gosh. Worst protagonist of all time. There's definitely something buried there. You could dig with a spoon. Oh my gosh, I missed it. I thought for sure I would be dead there. I don't know if you missed that, if it like resets the whole game or if it just sends you back a room. Baxter did not make it through the night. I just finished burying him under the cherry tree, his favorite spot to sleep. Charlie and Becky are beside themselves with sadness. I had a feeling that he was poisoned. Interesting that made him feel better, though. Oh, come on, dude. Nothing works. Yeah, there's no way a spoon would work on that. Flashlight? Use it to burn through the vines? Why this knife doesn't do anything. So annoying. Guess there's nothing there. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Yeah, let's just go walk all the way back.
Huh, I can't, like, walk up the stairs and get a better view of this. What about this thing? This cozy lounge is decorated with trophies. It might be a nice place to relax under different circumstances. Oh, cool! Oh, come on, I'm trying to read, dude. That's so rude. Oh, why did that make me go backwards? Okay, interesting. Might be a time loop thing then. Do I get to keep the journal page I just found? Smelled a lot like my tea. Yeah, I have a feeling funguses play a lot of uh Right here. What is that? Really? Why doesn't the flashlight work on that? Are you kidding me, dude? I, I got to look at, like, two things. So... Why am I hiding in here? It's a bad idea. Oh my gosh, I'm cracked. Well, oh, that was annoying. Maybe I just can't investigate that room. Shows where you came from. Can't just set the dude on fire. I won't set the dude on fire game. Oh, the garage is like way back here, isn't it? I forget where it is. Wait, where was the garage? Oh my gosh, dude.
Wait, what did I even want in the garage? Um, right, the knife didn't work on it, so... I don't know, maybe I should just look at, uh... Oh, the fireplace I was gonna check. Really? Oil isn't flammable? Okay. This empty spot for... Oh, did I lose an item? Because I got killed. Interesting. Hopefully it wasn't important because I do not remember what it was. Something rusted. Look at the little mushrooms. <laughs> so many good details on this. I can read in the dark, nice. Wife said kids seem to worse. She begs me to take them to a doctor. He's wrong, she's always wrong. I know they will be fine. I'll give them tea, they will get better. Oh. Buddy, I don't know if that tea is as good as you think that they are. What do you mean now is the time? Um, the game's icon, I think. Alright, let's stab the doll. Yeah, baby! We got a key! Alright, I'm gonna use that everywhere that I see a door. Sounds like fun. No! <laughs> oh, I thought the door was... Catching a plan against me. No keyhole for that, so that's probably not it. Oh no, an attic.
Twisters and small identical beds. It's a bedroom for two young children. Red Sun. Okay, that might be what I need for that. Oh, come on. could hide next to the corpse, maybe. There is. I was trying to get to my room, but I forgot which one it was. But I assume he wouldn't bug me there since that's the respawn point. Oh, so I just go back, okay. That's confusing. Like, you'd think. You'd think that back button would send you back to the, the downstairs. I see an alarm clock. Oh, that doesn't work. dollhouse. Can I have a doll somewhere? Put in there. Let me pretend. to read. I need like real eyeglasses and not 3D glasses. Worst fight with my wife in a long time. Yesterday the kids were playing in the yard where the dog was buried. Today they are very sick. Wife blames me saying I should have taken care of the stuff that's growing there under the tree and then it named them sick. I know that tea will help them, so I will make some for them to drink. The student is obsessed with tea. Kids' bedroom is connected to the downstairs.
<laughs> Not much in here. I can use that in the bathroom or something. I doubt a spoon will open a chest, but I have to try because I've tried everything else. Alright. Pretty satisfied with the upstairs then. What about this thing? Is that... What is that? Alright, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna get instigated by this guy from. Alright, I do have coins. dumb that you can't just hide in the car. I guess it is locked. You have to go all the way over here. Just to... Hide in a bush. So if I mess this up, I lose another item. So I gotta lock in. Undertale prepared me for this. Survive. Alright, can I... Oh wait, that's not oxidized. That's... vines. Uh, um... What was over here? Hexagon. I need a hexagon. Ow, Elmo, ow! Ow, Elmo, ow! I must need something else red. Is 
Did she use a pool cue? I couldn't find any up there. the car. <laughs> no. Fill up the tank. Pour gas in the small hole. Or crowbar in the small hole. Alright, let's play a song, even though it'll probably attract the crazy dude. Interesting. Ah! <laughs> Stop, dude! You're so annoying. I like how this dude's supposed to be like a scary axe murderer, but whenever I see him, I'm like, uh, get out of here, dude. I have to do investigating. Get out of my way. I got places to game and music to play. Isn't this where I just was? I'm so confused. How do I get... I came from left. Do I go back? No. This is left. I want right. Yes. Oil is different than gas, sure. There we go. That's definitely what I need for the line then. Okay, I can't watch a 3D movie, whatever. This game sucks. <laughs> bathroom. Is this bathroom? This is I guess I'll take it. It's like it would fit in a small lock. I mean, you won't just cut off the finger because you're too squeamish, I guess, or whatever. Like there's anything there. Oh, so that's like a shortcut to the kids' bedroom. Okay. That's where I just came from. 
See, I feel like the back arrow should always be to where you came from, but whatever. I forgot what I was going to do. Let's go play the sheet music, I guess. Bro, I just want to investigate. I'm quaking with fear. Left or right? I don't remember. The right? Oh, the key probably goes to somewhere upstairs, I bet. No idea what the duct tape is for. Did this one have anything that was locked? Oh, it had that box, but I opened it. And this thing, it has... Small writing, and the 3D glasses doesn't work right. Yeah. Just smash it apart and then it'd be easier to read, you know what I mean? What if I just stab it apart? Use the crowbar and the evil bear, okay. I mean, what would I use duct tape on? I think he stopped chasing me because I'm just not even making progress. Maybe there's something in the TV? Brother! I wasn't gonna fuck up your TV, I swear. It would have been totally cool. I guess I deserve that.
At least there's no, no reason to not die, I guess. What? It doesn't work on anything! Shatter my image of self. Could you lucky anyways? I can't take a glass piece and stab the, the guy right there, yeah. There's a blue box that I never noticed. I forget where I even want to go from here. I guess left. Can't I just push it to the other end of the pool? Put the 3D glasses on the lady. No! No fun allowed. Can I use duct tape on the murderer so that he stops moving on me? I could tie it up even more. It's made of metal. Maybe pour oil on it? No. There, there was a thing there I could dig. Use crowbar as shovel to dig. No. Use knife to dig? Do that. I give you permission, dog. You can use it. Uh, scoop out all the dirt into the bowl. So I need a tarnished copper lock. Nothing left in there. Can I be staying on the second floor then, I think? Oh my 
gosh. I do not remember if it was left or right. I think it was right. Oh, it was a quartz? Who could have guessed? A lawn care company. They have a copper key. Um, there was somewhere that needed a copper key, I don't know. I know it goes back to the kitchen. I'd like to go there. <laughs> copper key, copper key, copper key, copper key. Grandfather clock? Copper key? It's copper, it's not brass. Brother. Bronze and copper are like the same exact thing. This is idiotic. <laughs> I can't fix the piano. <laughs> like, hmm. Mayhaps a piano wire would work well in this piano. Wait, can I use this for other stuff? Huh. Trying to crowbar the dollhouse. Never works. Maybe this would fit in the hole? I feel like since I got to keep it, it must still be useful, at least in one other spot in the game. and copper locks. There must be some other lock thing. You know what, if the pool guy had it, maybe it's to the shed? Or it's just to the pool guy's house at home. 
not be helpful. There we go. Oh yeah, there's another journal piece. The small confines of this wooden shell feel cramped and claustrophobic. Wood dust seems to cover every surface of this tiny space. And there's a shovel, I'll be taking that. Yes! More loot. More stuff. Wait a second, that's true. Lunch 313. 11. No matter how many times you get rid of the tendrils, they keep coming back. It's some sort of fungus, I'm told. A friend gave me a recipe for a treatment that said to get rid of all manners of mold and fungi by killing it at the root. I typed it into my computer so I wouldn't lose it. I don't think it worked. Take the wrench. Yeah, baby! This guy gets keys! Type into the computer. So if I find a computer, it'll probably tell me what to do with that thing over there. I can hold something to work on it and that vice. I don't know what, though. I guess those are all empty, huh? Well, this seems somewhat safe, so I guess I can examine everything I got. Heavy duty head shears. Say that five times fast. Um, a bunch of keys, a shovel. Bet the screwdriver works on the grandfather clock. Scoop some up for fungus cereal. Yummy, yummy. So what do I want to get into? Baxter. <laughs> what can I do with ants? Oh, I could make a bowl of ants for the bad guy. And then try to feed it to him. <laughs> oh, I could have a spoonful of ants to feed to the bad guy. I could antagonize them. No, oh, I don't think there's anything I can do with these ants. Can I say some few words? Rest in peace, Baxter. You were a good dog. You ate some tea. And I bet that it was really good until it wasn't. Alright, bring Baxter back to life, steel key. No! Probably a piece of screwdriver. Alright, I have a billion things to try, a new statue lady. What do you want first? Really? Small hexagonal opening. Most of these have, uh, what's it called? I guess not hexagons. Can I just crowbar it in there? Alright, back to the... the 
over here zone. I will never get in there. That guy's gonna be pissed, I just found like 50 different items. Alright, this one's ornate, so I bet it'll work. What? That's not gold, that's bronze? I now have three keys and none of them work. Wowzers. Wowzers on schnauzers and mittens on kittens. Brown paper packages tried up and strained. Inside. This room doesn't have anything, just that monster truck. I think there was a box up here. Did I open it yet? No, okay. What am I gonna use that for? Wait, didn't I have a brass key? Get a small lock. You think it would work for the dollhouse then? But I guess not. There's no way the dog has a key to the car in it, right? <laughs> no way! Go to dog! Beckoning the inside. What, what do you mean? I can't go inside? There's gotta be like 50 keys in the glove box that the game is keeping me from. The trunk? That myself? Can I wipe the blood on a handkerchief and then try to... I don't know what I do with that. Oh, I should ask the murderer dude to open that for me. That would work out great. Get the right tools and equipment. Needs a motor. I have one of those. Unless I use the one from the car, maybe. Can't believe the dog collar had the key to the car. Can't use it on the front? Huh. Oh, it's got a frunk! Like the cyber truck. There's like four black pixels up there. I don't know if they mean anything.
Uh. A new place to hide just dropped. I thought that was him on the left there. That was a mannequin. Despite all my fear. I mean, nothing happens. Am I the weakest person of all time? Hitting an ornamental egg with a shovel doesn't tell me what's inside? Okay. There's no blue, so that would be considered yellow, I think. I got so spooked. That's just my phone. But why is it so loud? Alright, I'll see you in a sec. Alright, I'm back. I was thinking, I wonder what the cherry requirement is for this. I'd assume it would either be a uh, deathless, um, either deathless or speedrun thing. What is iron? But that's that's silver. It doesn't count, I guess. Only got one jewel so far. So we're one for four there. Where was I trying to put this? Oh, up here. Uh-oh, my dog is all set off now. I just hung out with her. She should be chilling. Large bedroom. Oh, computer, I bet. Uh-oh, it looks like someone's under the covers. Another in the master bedroom. It's been so long since I've entered a new place. Oh, another journal. Entry 12. These journals must be important considering how many we've found. This weekend I randomly started breaking out in hives. There are itchy bumps all over my arms and face. Put some allergy cream on my skin, it seems to have helped a little. Wow, they're not talking about using a, uh... I might be dead. Alright, let's try breaking this glass. Sounds like he's already nearby. Oh, hey! Get away without having to do the minigame here. 
Yeah, baby! This guy is cooking. See there, like, it works how you think it would be. You press back to go back. Alright, let me keep exploring this. There's a alarm clock that isn't ticking. Ooh, extra journal page, okay. What did we get? Number 15, the finale. Probably. They didn't make it. RIP. 19-87. Is that how it's written the other times? 1987. stuff? There's a rope there. That's true. It's just outside. What am I gonna do with a cigar butt? Interesting. Journal entry 16. Oh, it wasn't the last one. Hold up. There's more in always screaming noise, noose noise. Keep it in room with door lock to stop me from hear it. Now it not feel well too. I make tea for it. It must drink, drink tea. Um. So that's not the guy that's writing the journal. The guy that's writing the journal also got disturbed by the crazy dude. Can I knock this thing over? I guess I wouldn't do much with it. Filled with ash? Maybe I light a match or something? Kinda doubt it would do much for me. Did I lose my matches? Oh no! Alright, don't pick up the candelabra then. Oh, interesting. Fast travel unlocked. Very strange. Oh, hedge clipper probably. Yeah. That's what that's for. What? <laughs> what do you mean? I can't, you can't... It's the spoon. Use the, this thing. Can't just burn the rope. It's made of rope. It's like flammable. Update from my phone. It's a secret update though, you won't get to know what it is. I mean, what else could I really do to this? How does the hedge clipper not work? That that kind of fucks me up. This is like the one thing I would use it for.
I can't. Is the head shears on a tiny little plant? I mean, I don't know what I would find in the leaves, but I could try it at least. Let's try stabbing the mannequin. <laughs> mannequin has done nothing to deserve that. <laughs> Brother, I'm just trying to play my game. Wait, use it on a painting? Can't just unscrew it. I guess that would be too easy. Alright, what do I use for that? Press it wrong. I got into an argument over the kids drawing the walls in their playroom. She thinks that they're just expressing their creativity, but who will have to repaint the walls? Me. It was me that Becky came crying to because Charlie scribbled over something important that she wrote on the wall. Aren't kids great? <laughs> Who's this guy? Chair. I like systems. They seem fun, but this is no time for games. Oh, I love meta... meta commentary. Yay! The globe of the world sits on top of a small table here. Keep spinning it until it falls off and reveals a secret. Tea tree oil. That must be important. Maybe it'll keep the guy away from me. Oh, I can use that on the playroom writing that I couldn't read. <laughs> HMS Endeavors. Oh, the computer! It has info for me, right? Nothing in the, uh, the seat? Or the lamp? Hmm. Well, you know, I'm gonna try to break this thing. Believe a crowbar isn't strong enough to break this bottle. Okay, I guess I'll go in there. Apart from some blood and broken glass, this bathroom looks clean compared to the rest of the house. Can I open up the door? Nice. Yeah, that makes sense. Probably shouldn't have done that. Foolishly put on backwards? What? I guess I, I don't have any sides in this debate because I just put it on the counter. 
that's easier. Oh, hello. I haven't seen you in a while. Where'd you go? I've never seen such clutch menuing. Red, red, wine, pizza for me. Lancelot. Thanks, kid. I bet it's the computer password. I bet you two dollars. That looks like a Magus. Sans. Are you kidding me, dude? Hitchhiker's Guide 101. I need that towel. That's probably true. I shouldn't touch the broken glass. H2O2? I don't know, really know what that does. I might have to look that up. Come on, dude. I just saw you. We've been hanging out all day. Like, I get that you're bored, but I've got other friends. Source, do you just trust me? I'm so cracked. Okay, what was this thing? Probably for the computer. Oh no, it's for the safe. The other thing's for the computer. We got everything. Well, pretty much everything I need to win. Or to at least solve the puzzles I've been presented with. Um, here's something I want to try. Let's see if I can hunt this deer. <laughs> Yes, white gem. Okay. Peroxide. Tea tree oil. Wait, how's it work? Peroxide tobacco leaf.
Use the knife to mince the cigar. No. Hmm. Could I use the shovel to beat this until it's tobacco leaf? No. Use the bowl. Put in this. No, use the this. Put it in the bowl. I can't boil up the computer. Man, there must be batteries somewhere. I need to take a screenshot of that. She said her drawing was important, I'll believe her. I'll save that in case I need it later. I don't think those stars do anything. Oh, I can't make it so that it doesn't creak anymore. I don't remember if this was the way to the outside. It wasn't. This was. stuff. I guess I have to use that on the, the main door on the inside. Thank you. 
feel like that doesn't work. Um, okay. Really, I can't make it slippery enough to slide off. What do I use the fungicide on? Then? This thing. Let's <laughs> break all the TVs, I guess. Something to do. TV's made out of vibranium! Can't look at the small hole, okay. Be nifty if you could, like, get a, a little close-up if you use the magnifier on that. Oh wait, brass? I don't think I have anything for brass. Maybe if I oil it up? No. Oh. You'd think this big thing would do something. You could just thread the piano wire through it. Oh, maybe the kids' room? sec. That's what that's for. Okay. I don't know if that screenshot's better than the first one I took, but that definitely seems like progress. I don't know where I input that, though. I could try using the fungicide on the bad guy, maybe, the next time he shows up. Wait, where did I just come from? So that leads to the parents' bedroom. I 
feel like it might be important something about this room. I don't know what. Yeah, maybe. the fastest I've lost them, I didn't even have to go outside. I mean, you don't have to start the car, just get in and look around. I mean, what would I use fungicide on? That thing needs a motor. No idea what to do for that. No idea what these directions do. I think I could drink it and become immune to the bad guy. I don't have a body I can interact with though. Is there a way into the cellar maybe? I just saw him through the window. What am I... I don't get it. That brings me back. to the greenhouse. Really? Okay. What, what do you mean nothing happens? What do you mean nothing happens, dude? Okay. Wait, that actually worked.
There we go. You saw through the corpse's dry leathery flesh. Eventually the finger comes off, bearing the ring with it. Hexagon! I know where to put that. I know where to find a hexagon. Ow, Elmo, ow! Ow, Elmo, ow! Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Do, 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 do. Until Octagon. Are you kidding me? <laughs> is it is it because yeah, I didn't click the right pixel. You push the ring into the opening and something clicks. The water quickly drains from the fountain. Something green sparkles in the moonlight. An emerald. Well, not that surprised. Uh, Spring Green was the first one. This must work somewhere else, because it's not gone. I think there's anything else I can do with that guy. Uh, get directed for free. So if we start from here, we want to go left, right, right, forward, but I can't go forward, can I? Can't be it. Maybe I have to go upstairs. I could start from the starting room and not the first room of the house. So if I go up the stairs and then to the left and then to the right and then But there's two options here. There's three options here. So, probably be there. And then left. I don't think that's it. Where else would I use directions? There's an X. The right on the bottom here. All right, I can't inspect the glass pieces. Piano wire has to be used for something. Um, 
What if I made like a a key ring? Cut it, but then I guess I just have twice as much piano wire. I still have the red glasses, so maybe that's used somewhere else. You'd think you would just use the screwdriver on the clock face, but that doesn't work. Um, I have this one key that's left. I can't open this. Which is kind of annoying. I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, he's got a bottle. long I can use it to run something with the crossbow I can put the knife in the crossbow and shoot it at the bad guy and then he gives me the the last key I need crossbow knife Um... Um... Okay. can't take the batteries back out. What if I hit it with the crowbar? UFO! What about that porch? Maybe there was something else on the porch. I didn't look at it for that long. This thing. Totally forgot about. Wait, the hacksaw doesn't work on the. There we go. Did that door look different or is it just me? Weird, okay. The door's open now. Or did it just always say that? I came from the right. I have to go back out and figure out what I just dropped. It's a pipe bomb! Yay! <laughs> oh, it's a body! Cool. Cutting 
midnight. Left. Brother! How do you even find your way into the maze? Alright, let's hide. This is a little mini game. Statues ensconced upon the hedge walls, a quiet stillness hangs in the air. So now I think I can kill the, the bad guy. That statue not having a face makes it so much more creepy. Now I guess I just wait for the bad guy to come back and try shooting him. Yeah, I'll look around some more. Just for fun, I'm going to try to use it. Come on, doors are just a suggestion. <laughs> I wonder if I brought the doll here and presented it, it might do something. Although I kind of ripped apart the doll already. I should keep it on the crossbow page in case I run into it.
I think that key change means that he should be close. Cause when it goes ba da 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 I thought it was going to be something like, oh, you can explore the hedge maze now. Is the X in the door? Does that mean anything? Because there's an X in the directions. I don't know if that means anything, though. <sighs> Come on, buddy. I just realized it's a UFO in the top left. I even use the fungicide on. Maybe the corpse has something else I can do with it. Switching screens is what makes them show up. I don't know though. It might just be like on a five minute timer. Cat. Definitely seems like important that it says the batteries thing, but there's no way to get up here unless you use the flashlight. So it's not like you could you could save it because it doesn't even let you up here. One thing if it let you up here until darkness, 
Then it could be like a secret that you sneak up there. I have no idea where that last key goes to. Just it would be like one of the kids' rooms. Or like a safe somewhere, maybe. Freak like me would just drive it through the door. There might be batteries in there. If I could get like gloves and reach in or something. Or maybe just like use the flat side of the wrench to try to pick stuff up. Can't use the magnifying glass to look through there. can't cut it, I can't look at it, I can't whack it with a crowbar. Can I shoot it? Come on, dude. You say it's rusted, but the oil doesn't work. You know how insanely lucky it is if this works on the garage thing? One 100% this game. Trembling figure pulls the trigger and the crossbow fires its bolt right into the eye hole of the man's mask. He screams. And collapses to the ground. After making sure he's not moving, you search his body and find a rusted iron key. Oh yeah, I'm getting the cherry ending. What is in that gosh dang cellar?
Wires and ventilation ducts hang overhead in this dismal basement, doing little to relieve the sweet pungent must that permeates here. Alright, what do we got? Light hurt, hide light, head hurt, more bumps on face, light hurt, bombs hurt. <laughs> Doctor, drink no more. More tea to feel, BB. Bye, wife, bye. Bye, 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 B. My wife? A rusty metal box with a lever coming out of its side. Handle that's held on by screws. Well, I know what to do with that. What could I use that for? Uh oh. That's fair. Cool. Oops, that's not the way. Gear. Oh, a gear from the clock. So there must be a way to get into the clock. There must be a way to get into the clock. That's the only thing that has a... Oh, there's something over there. There's something in the window, Spooky. Maybe there's another one of those guys. brother. I mean, that perfume's gotta do something, right? Let's see what this does. It's really hard to click. Uh, 
That's an overbearing sense. Perhaps just a spoonful? Perhaps just a comically large spoon. I haven't tried digging everywhere I could. Oh no. It's working now. We tried turning it off and on again. Little pieces of glass. I don't think there's much I can do with the glass. I don't know if I've broken all the mirrors. This thing has to be something, right? HMS Endeavor. There's nothing inside of you. The globe is pretty worthless. This portrait was a little bit weird. But pretty worthless, I think. Bone, maybe? I could take one of the sharp bones and put it in the grandfather clock. I don't know, it could work. I think you gotta work with me a bit on this. Silver key. What would a silver key go do? Does that help at all? I mean, I guess it makes a new path, but it doesn't really change anything. It's electricity, I guess, but it's inconsistent. I thought this door, like, sparkled for a second. Maybe that's a hint? There's another clock here. He 
fuses would maybe be in like the garage. And there's a thing in the garage, but I can figure out how to get anything out of it. That's where I just came from, right? It really doesn't seem like there's much else here, unless there's something underneath the pool table, maybe? What could I do with the deer? I could break off the antlers, maybe, with a hacksaw? No. Could I use this to cut off an antler? No. Could I use this to cut off antler? No. There's a chance I'm wasting my time and you're supposed to just take the car and then it doesn't, like, let you leave or something. But I don't want to lose all my progress and have to do this all again. <laughs> yeah, this is all, like, the shining. There's nothing underneath the pool table. Maybe... I mean, there should be gears in there, technically, as well. But you do think of blocks when you think of gears. I don't know what else I would use a hacksaw for, either. There's so many things that are, like, exactly the same thing. up the clock but nothing happens and I can't open the clock I can't do anything with it right so this whole room is a wash I wasn't on the right mode can't dig there <laughs> maybe I could dig somewhere else inside the house Dig through the trash, maybe? Can't dig there. I feel like I should be able to.
I mean, you could hit it with the Crooked Pole. I guess it wouldn't do much. Um, uh, what's down here? There's something, I guess. Two, three, two? Two. If you count the scratches, it's two, three, two, two. I'll write that down, that might be something. It's a bit abstract, though, compared to the rest of the stuff in this. Duct tape I used. I mean, you'd think the walk-in closet would have something, because it's pretty big. I can spam this because I don't have a murderer around. I can't think of a toilet paper use. There's maybe some mirrors I haven't destroyed somewhere. Maybe. I mean, that implies that there should be a key to do this somewhere. Although, realistically, just smash it with the crowbar, who cares? for death situation. Just use the crowbar that you have. You already killed someone, you're worried about- OH NO! The grandfather clock! It's so important. I mean, I can make all the shortcuts I want, but it won't give me anything. Any progress. Did I just lose the crowbar? No, that's the crowbar. What did I just lose? There was something here. I wish I could, like, fill the empty space.
There's one more thing I want to try. But it might be bad. Potentially. Okay, I can't throw away the red glasses. Although that is what most people do with them. One, two, four, five. So we haven't gotten three, right? Oh no, there's three. Three, four, five. Um, six, seven was up here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. All right, I could read these in order now. So the therapist, what if the therapist is the, the mass person? Although I think that the mass person is probably the person that wrote this. That just makes the most sense to me. I'm intense with Cheryl since losing my job at the firm. Who cares about finances, but I don't know, she's a lady, so she's mad about something. His words, not mine. <laughs> Three. Saw Cheryl sticking one of my pool cues in the pool. I shout, honey, that's not how you play pool. In some humor, it might hide my irritation. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Turns out she had a task line to fix out a necklace that she dropped in. I wish she hadn't used one of my expensive keys for that. That's number three. Number four. Today I was in the sun, I'm enjoying a cup of that tea. It has a unique musky aroma that's really starting to grow on me. My tea scented when I noticed that the kids had gotten handprints all over the glass. We can only afford to have the housekeeper here once a week. So I guess I'm the one stuck with cleaning it up. Spent the past few days sick with some kind of flu. Today I was finally able to hold down some solid food. My symptoms seemed to disappear the moment I had some of the tea my therapist gave me. She didn't mention anything about being a flu cure, but I like to believe that it helped. Cheryl and I got into an argument over the kids drawing. Charlie had scribbled over something important that she wrote on the wall. Aren't kids great? I was outside enjoying my tea and one of the landscapers bumped into my cup and spilled it on the ground. To my surprise, Bacter ran over and started looking at the puddle immediately. Instead of being mad, I just laughed. Who knew dogs like tea? Baxter has been vomiting to the point of dry heaving all day. He won't eat or drink anything. The kids are very upset and Cheryl won't stop playing me because she thinks it was my tea that made him sick. That's still not really his fault because he spilled it on accident. If he intentionally gave it to the dog, yeah, sure, but I don't know. Anyways, unbelievable. Fortunately, our personal vet is out of town and all the others are closed, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. Baxter did not make it through the night. I just finished burying him under the cherry tree, his favorite spot to sleep. Charlie and Becky are beside themselves with sadness. One of the landscapers showed me something unusual today. He pointed out a patch of strange tendrils that were growing up from the ground where I buried Baxter two weeks ago. I have no idea where they were, but I noticed a pungent and familiar smell. It smelled a lot like my tea. I like it how even after that he's still like, hmm, I should make my kids drink this tea. No matter how many times we get rid of the tendrils, they keep coming back. It's some sort of fungus, I'm told. A friend gave me a recipe for a treatment that said to get rid of all manners of mold and fungi by killing it at the root. Typed it into my computer so I wouldn't lose it. This weekend, I randomly started breaking out in hives. There are itchy bumps all over my arms and face. Put some allergy cream on my skin and it seems to have helped a little. First fight with my wife in a long time. Yesterday the kids were playing in the yard where the dog was buried. Today they are very sick. Wife blames me, saying I should have taken care of the stuff that was growing under the tree. 
and that it made them sick. I know the tea will help them, so I will make some for them to drink. Wife said kid seems worse. She begs me to take them to the doctor. She is wrong. She's always wrong. I know they will be fine. I'll give them tea. They will get better. Yeah. They didn't make it. It always screaming noise, noose noise. Keep it in room with door locked to stop me from hear it. Now it not feel well too. I make tea for it. It must drink, drink tea. Do you think that it is my character? Or the kids are wife? Probably the wife. Actually, I might be playing as the wife now that I think about it. Light hurt, hide light, head hurt, more bumps on face. Light hurt, bombs hurt. R, trick no more, more tea to feel B, B, by wife, by, 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 B. 17 is the finale, I think. At least so far. I think the only thing here I haven't used yet is piano wire. But where would it work? Besides the piano, which I'm pretty sure I tried. Oh, come on, they're sitting in the darkness. I can't shine the flashlight on them. Why? Why Why is that a feature? Why put the they're in the darkness if I can't use the flashlight on them? That, like, gave me hope that I could actually do something. And then it's like, nope, this room is just completely useless. I can't even scrap this chair to, to make a... A clock opener, whatever that would be. Small clock.
I can't put the glasses on the teddy bears, you're out of 10. Awful game. Small. Things that are small that want keys. Small thing under the bed? Wait, this is where I came from. So what does this door lead to? Huh. Small key. Grandfather, father, patriarch. It was just dead. There's nothing I can do with the deer head. I'm pretty sure the hole upstairs is done then. Fungus side on the clock? use everything on the clock. Yeah, red glasses, why not? Maybe I'll do something. Yeah, try the flashlight, who knows? The flashlight reveals a key in the inside of the uh, grandfather clock. Directions? I sure hope they're to a better game. This looks like a puzzle in the back, but I have no idea what it's to. I can't close it.
Rusty, can I use oil on it? I don't have oil. No! Um, use the fungicide. Oh, but I use piano wire for it again. I mean, this room is just done, so. Also, is it supposed to, like, look really weird, this door. Is that intentional? That it's a different color green? This is another fake plan, I think. The handprints on the door... <laughs> I kind of doubt that they do anything. Can't crowbar that. I could pour a fungicide on the corpse. This thing is empty now. Nothing left to do with the lawnmower. At least it tells you that. Didn't I stab this before and it did something? I did something with it. I shot it with the thing and it said I missed with the crossbow. Now I don't have the crossbow. So at least I know that Crossbow is not required for anything. What do I use this key for, though? Doesn't that thing just make you want to stab it? Also, my character would be so dead if it was real. You know how many times I've poked that rusty nail in the garage and I poke this thing in the wall? But it won't let me stab it. I don't know. Maybe I'd be too powerful if it let me do that. Um... I don't have oil anymore. Is there a different way to fix this? Silver key. Too much fungus. I can shovel through it. Yeah, 
Animal nest. Animal well. I can't put the paper in the dryer to reveal a secret message. What do you mean? Where did I enter from? It doesn't even tell me. It seems like in the second floor there's nowhere that connects to that gate at the bottom that they keep complaining about. This room has two entrances. This room also only has two entrances. Unless... is there like a second secret door? Tales from Isolde. Small key. Silver. Is there anything silver? I might have to look this up. I don't remember the name of this one to look it up. I'll just go through all the UFO 50 chats until I find one that looks like this. Hold on. Alright, we got a hint. It took a, a while in pulling teeth, but thank you to uh, Tyler, I believe, on the UFO 50 Discord for that. Apparently it's in the downstairs bedroom. So either the one that you start in or the one that... Uh, I don't even remember which way it was. This isn't it, right? Left, I think. Oh. It's the bathroom.
The house plant died somehow. That's cool. I don't see anything in this bedroom. Was there another bedroom here? The basement, right? Is there another bedroom down here? mistaken. Alright, apparently there's a jewelry box. I think I might have opened that. my gosh! I just totally forgot about this. How many times did I look at that? I was stuck there at least an hour. <laughs> Why? Why is it exactly the same color? It's like slightly darker, maybe. Yeah, that's all I need. I just need this one fucking key. Why? They could have just given you a brass key in the other pink part. <laughs> They, they could have just not had the silver key at all. It's used to wind up something. Try putting it in the grandfather clock. Uh, it opened the thing. Wow, no way. I don't even have to do more with that. I was gonna say that I want to hit whoever made this game with a crowbar <laughs> since they won't let me at the grandfather clock, but I don't mean that. If it's the gears! get a fuse from toy truck maybe stuck again can I get a fuse hint
<laughs> I just keep bugging Tyler. Tyler, you're my hero. I should say that. <laughs> laughing reacted by Tyler. Piano? Wait, the piano has fuses in it, or are they responding to something else? Um, where even was the piano? Was it in here? There is... No fuse. What?! <laughs> That doesn't help me at all. <laughs> um, that makes me even more confused. Why is it impossible to get out of this? Holy. There's no Santa Claus, there is no Easter Bunny, and there is no Fuse. Okay, we might have actually done it now. Can I touch it? You can't be serious. Faint cries drowned out by the crackle of the flames, which warm you as you watch the house burn. The nightmare is over. The end? You had two bad dreams while you were trapped in Night Manor. So I think that means I died twice.
<laughs> oh man. If I hit continue, where do I start from? I lost some of my items. Which is interesting. Is the bad guy gonna show up again? I kinda wanna see the other ending. Wait, how do I get back to the um, garage? Is that this way? you think I'd like remember the layout during a line and playing it. Alright, what happens if you leave here? The tire squeal as you hurtle down the driveway. The headlight looks fine from angle. Smashing through the gate against all odds, he escaped. The end. Oh, so it's the same ending, basically. We'll see at the end if I have the fungus. Maybe you only get the fungus on the good ending. You'd think you wouldn't get it, you just need like a sip of the green soup and then you'd be fine, probably. The fungus. We'll be having some fun down at the fungus. I might not make a guide for this one, just purely out of laziness. So I don't want to clip it, and I think it's... It's kind of a game that you shouldn't have a guide for. I don't know, might just be me. I think it's a lot more fun if you let people in the Discord help you. I won! Oh, I should use the CGI uh, link saying I won. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, let's see if her eyes turn fungus mode. <laughs> you brought a friend with you. Night Manor. Oh boy, most played. Friendly game to require warning text in the first game directed by longtime designer Greg Milk. See the ghost? Oh, I think I see it. Oh, is that it? I thought that was it on the bottom by the door because it looks like the door stop mixed with the yellow circle is like a ghost. But that might just be how that looks. Heat normal clears, six cherry clears. Those were a couple of neat games we cherried tonight. See the ghost anyway. Anyways, cherry clear to 21. Night banner. Oh, 
Play more mortal. Mortal is too much of a thinky type game. Try to get some sandwiches. Crazy that Glove has already played like all the UFO games. <laughs> like, he showed up in the Night Manor chat and I was like, no way. Glove's kind of crazy for that one. Are you kidding me? What was that? said Poppy throwback, but I think this is technically the first game it appears in chronologically. Ah, oh, the purple ones are fakes.
Alright, this is where it gets tricky. Because those hitboxes stay out for eons. I did not know that these guys could shoot at you. Is it ridiculously hard to get two sandwich? Oh man, there's really no warning for that one, huh? Well, I'm not getting that sandwich. Ah, my cherry clear. Actually, not my cherry clear, my, uh, gift. Very nice friend. Oh, you're awesome for a second. Huh, weirdly chill section here. Right after all that hecticness. mean to kill this guy, he's giving me platforms and stuff. Oh. And 
Ah, he's too far back to him. Hey, how do you hit him when he's this far back? Especially when he spawns orbs the second he hits a tentacle low enough to get hit by. I got one hit in there. There we go. He should not be allowed to go that far back, that's really annoying. Oh, I got a uh, gold clear, I think. Burger time. Congratulations! I get to split it. Get ready. Uh... Oh, you get a lot of one ups. Time to dodge that. It's a lot faster than I am. Violet starting out as an enemy feels very strange, at least of him being a character. A playable character, I mean. I don't think the shurikens actually do anything. Apparently they make you shoot more, so I shoot three right now. Isn't that how much I normally shoot though? Probably could dodge that better. <laughs> oh, now I shoot one at a time. Now I shoot two. Okay. Okay, it does do something. Confirms. Oh, I can't duck under. Be nice if you could slide like the club. Okay, you cannot jump over that. No way, the snails take two hits. Okay. You can deal with the rest of the changes, but that, that's too much. all that. Oh no! Uh, the purple was... was floor! Why? Why is purple floor? Purple is in background? Purple is background for cloud. Yeah, <laughs> you can bait that guy so far. is still one-shottable, so that's nice. I don't know if that's actually pilot or if that's slightly different in the lore pilot. Okay, I guess those are lightning as well. Yeah, 
That is a lot more annoying. Alright, they are still killing the leaves. Whereas I don't have the original ones. Oh my gosh, they're getting it up on me. Oh my gosh. Like, uh, please perish. Ah, uh, the downswing. That's too many of you, I'm sorry. One at a time, please. I am only one man. Ah, oh, what the fuck? That was like perfectly timed to hurt me. Do you really want to make me cry? Okay, that one up is gonna be huge for us. Let's go. I hate that the screen auto scrolls so you can't just hold neutral there, you have to hold like kind of left, but not really. Really? Dude, uh, Why are you allowed to spawn there? Holy shit. Such an illegal spawn. See how much harder the octopus fight is gonna be. It was already pretty hard the first time. I'm guessing double the amount of orbs or something jank like that. Oh, so you fight the same boss? Okay. So that wasn't too bad. Oh, look at all those burgers! 
<laughs> you still cut it in half instead of just... Uh, oh, it doesn't let you go anymore. That is top score, though. Nice. Points potentiate. Attain the top score on a high scoreboard. Definitely could have been better. I don't feel like I played super well. But, uh, that's a cherry clear. It's ninja time! Run and jump to reach the end of the world. We did it! My sandwich is eaten five. This time, ten. This time, nineteen. To give a gift, eat three sandwiches. Big possums. Read Riding the wave of ninja mania and impact was the first implementation of scrolling on the LX. Okay, that was a neat one. That gave me... Um, possum? I don't know if there was a possum in that game. Where is the possum? I don't see it. Still though, that's uh... Seven cherries now? Alright, I'm gonna go before this pig takes a dump. <laughs> that was cool though. So that was Ninpack. If you enjoyed this cherry clear of Ninpack, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. So that was... 444. Ninpack. That wasn't too hard to cherry. It was hard and then when I played it kind of more fresh, it was not that bad. Maybe I'll play as the girl this time. I like it how they're so obviously a palette swap. <laughs> Whoa. Nice. That was pretty good for score. Hot dog! I kind of kicked that one half-heartedly. I keep forgetting that you can't uh, switch your emitter. And I try to do turn around kicks so that it just doesn't work. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. Wow, that immediately turned into food. Interesting. Wow, I could not thread the needle there like I thought I could. Okay, you just want to jump through. I need to get fancy in these loops. Somehow that worked out. <laughs> that did not feel clean. That one wouldn't be too bad if it wasn't for the fact that it takes so long to, uh, to hit each one of those individually. If the ball is piercing, it wouldn't be that bad. Maybe there's a piercing upgrade you can get or something. Although this was pretty early chronologically, so I kind of doubt that there would be a, a Elon Musk tech tree or whatever. That just went through the floor. That feels mean.
I got a Sunday or something. Teddy. That's neat. Oh. <laughs> that sort of just worked out for me, huh? I have three jerseys. That might be the max lives you can have. I think I lost one life this world. Maybe two. Somehow I got all that food, I did not think I would. Oh, why is the ball all the way up there? was like just a little bit longer. I don't think that many arcade games would actually end that quickly. I think they would have let you loot more. I guess it's a way to cap players uh, like scores. But it doesn't even really matter because it's not like there's a leaderboard online. Online leaderboard, I don't know why I said it weird. <laughs> you can put your feet all the way in the wall. Oh, I get it. This is like running track. I gotta win it. Noise. Oh, am I stuck? How do you get out of that? There's gotta be a way, right? Besides just suffer. Wow, that just immediately got uh, fixed. Noise. Why did- Ah, uh, I thought it would fall! Okay, so those don't fall. It's good to know, I guess. Aw, oh, you can't dodge zone. Well, you might be able to dodge zone. I can. Oh, there's a Sunday up there. Where'd that come from? Is that a boss?
Oh, I could have gotten it. an extra cheeky hit in there. Oh, there we go. Not the cleanest boss. I think I took one death, which isn't that bad. And then one death on the regular level. Ice World. Hi, James Bond burgered your mom last night. Uh, I didn't get my soccer ball. I gave you fun on my soccer ball. Expecting them to just keep walking over the nothing. No, <laughs> don't take me away. Um, okay. I do not get how those work. Like at all. <laughs> how do they work? What? How the hell do you time that without just have iframes blow? It's better to get food than to let it go to get a better time bonus. Oh, he's not bouncing around. How did I die if I killed it? Spot it first. Oh, I see it. It's on the bottom next to the watering thing. Even if this was just 20 games, it would still be worth it. Like this first two rows. Although if it didn't have pin golf, I don't know if I could say it's game of the year. Alright, this game's apparently goaded. I think it's saved. So, I'm gonna try it out. It's kind of a very interesting development time, because you would have stuff that would save and stuff that wouldn't. Anyways, uh, you can stay in the storage room tonight. But why? There's nothing to do in here. His mom is in here and I'm in charge, that's why. Here, you can hang out with Max. <laughs> is that dog of a goofy haircut? It's not fair! <laughs> oh! He broke down here. It feels like we've been locked in here forever. I'm so bored. I have an idea. Will it get us out of here? Maybe. This room is so small, we should try shrinking. But I don't know how to shrink. Neither do I. Maybe if we just crouch down and think small thoughts. That'll never work. Watch me try. Yo. Mixels. Easy. Oh, 
I want to go into the onigiri house. Bunny. How do I talk to Bunny? Welcome to Dust Bunny Warren. Buy something to support the Warren? Oh, double jump. I'm just here to make sure those dirt brains pay their taxes to King Mittens. So many of my friends are gone, there used to be twice as many of us. No! Mom got that vacuum! You're one of those side changers, aren't you? Maybe you can use their powers to find out what happened to our friends. We pay King Mitten all those shinies to protect us, but now that our friends are disappearing, you won't do anything to help? I don't feel so good. I hope I don't disappear like the others. Mr. Stark. People have been mysteriously disappearing one by one. Ladybug. Die. I smite thee. That didn't work. I think I ended up in a different spot because I crouched over here this time. That's nifty. Whoa! What's her at? I can't become even smaller. This is so sad. Can I get up there? Maybe I can drop it? Yeah, yo! Now this is gaming. Can't drop through those platforms. something up there. Okay, turn an enemy into a power-up? That's kind of swag. Can't look down like in Splunky. Uh oh. I hope you're being careful, partner. Dangerous around these parts with all the robbers everywhere. Of course, if you ask me, these toys are wasting their time trying to rob this train. Ain't much here to steal. I reckon I know where the real money's hidden. Yes siree, I have quite the secret to share. I might share it with you if you brought me a strong drink. Bro is throwing his friend. You think that's a friend or a foe? We can walk on it. But who knows? Oh, I was right next to the star. So death has no meaning. There you are. I can't believe drinking actually worked. Isn't it great? There's so much more room to run around. Now find me later. Meet me back on this roof. <laughs> Alright, what's in here? What do you want? Do you know a way out of this room? Are you stupid? You're standing in front of a door! <laughs> Arhar, I know what you meant the first time. I was just messing with you. 
I'll cost you 20 shinies. Gee, you don't know how much, do you? They're little shiny things. I'm gonna have to talk to Mittens. That's my cat. He always did whatever he darn well pleased. But since the shinies fell, he's been drunk with power. Inside of the doorknobs. Bits of the wallpaper hanging out. Yeah, I can see why this game got recommended. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I see why people like it. Trivializes some of this, but it's neat. I do think this is a game where. Uh, oh, I thought I could make the thread go down there. alive so I can climb up. Oh well. Was there any other blocks here I could use? I think I destroyed them all. Whoopsie. That wasn't super smart. Um, did I die or did I just get made small for some reason? Let's go talk to Colonel Sanders. Moths come from. I guess that makes sense, kinda. Not really, but kinda. Alright, I can't do the Super Mario Bros. to jump. I need to bring two things up here to do that. If I hold left, but not all the way left, I can get that shiny I missed. Oh, that was so close, actually. <laughs> I could cheese this whole game. Maybe I shouldn't be dying so much, that might affect my chances of getting a cherry. Oh, that was close. Oh, 
Why do, must I break every game that I play? Okay, I, I'm totally overshooting it now. Let's go all the way over here. Why is everyone so mean? My own house, I think. Everyone's all go away. I get slide ability, I can grab those two. Yeah, I'm liking this so far. This game is definitely holding my attention. Nice to finally meet you, Minnie. How do you know who I am? Can't be big people talking down here. Most of us little people just tune out. I'm still more connected to the big world than most. Tell me, do I look familiar? Maybe a little? Because my portrait is still sitting in this room. Truthfully, I'm surprised no one has thrown it away yet. I used to be big and I lived in this house. This was many years before your family moved in, of course. It was in those days that I learned I could shrink. I can't explain it. Perhaps this house is enchanted. But you stayed small. Did you get stuck down here? Oh, it has all been by choice. Key time flows differently down here. By staying small, I have extended my life by centuries. Eleanor is even older than I am. I believe it was her family that built this house. Speaking of Eleanor, I could really go for some of her tea. You fetch the tea kettle from her home? Oh, okay. And then he'll probably tell me secrets. Why can't I escape anymore? What? I could maybe ride that creeper up there. I need to come back first. Are you friendly? Please help. Can you bring me some of that honey back there? I have no strength left to get it myself. We probably need a container. <laughs> no, the please. I probably definitely just went this way, right? There's no shinies around here. Yeah, there's my favorite character, who's a uh, face I have not seen yet. The mystery. That was awkward. Thought maybe I could get a big bounce off that. Oh, that was weird. I got stuck. Wow, the tea, thank you. Now where was I? When I first discovered I could drink, I was hungry for adventure. I roamed far and wide across this great room. What's so long before I learned I could shrink even smaller? Indeed, the smaller I shrink, the more I became obsessed with exploring. Slow going at first, it takes energy to stay so small. Creatures you encounter can sap your strength so quickly, but over time I became stronger. Spend time exploring the smallest size levels. Here, this should help get you started. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did, did it just loop? Okay, I can't do Inception and go even smaller than this. I don't think it looped. I think this is a new area. Interesting. see anything up there. So if I die in this, do I go back to small me or do I go back to normal me? Or do I stay smallest me but get like rebound? That's a new creature for sure. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting you can't duck through platforms. It would take so long to explore this whole thing though. This has to be the smallest you could get, right? There's no way you could get any smaller than that. I thought that was a power-up. I don't think it was. single block it's a whole mini level are you serious I thought it would <laughs> do more than just die there. <laughs> I thought it would like drop a star or something. Huh. I guess most of them would just be dead ends. It makes sense.
one's actually kind of hard getting there. Oh man, I have to use so many rocks for this. But I have no idea what that is, which makes me want it. You're so lucky that you can do that and I can't. I need two more. I'm pretty sure that was worth I thought they were friendly. <laughs> Anyways. He's like enough of that for now, but that was pretty cool. I gotta go eat some. I will be back though, so I'll see you soon. Alright, gamers, I am back. Officially. What game was I playing? Oh yeah, Mini Max. I think it probably will save, right? I'd assume it would. There's no uh, in-game pause screen. It has that save icon whenever you pixel up. Yeah, I think it does. Ooh, Elphazar's hat. I feel like I should be the first game though. What is Valbrace? Oh, I thought that- I didn't think that was a nose, I thought that was a person that like fell over. Alright, let's just find out. Nothra Keep. Another noble knight come to challenge the Lord of the Abyss? Spears Abyss. Find that enter. The quotes there are kind of confusing. Your inheritance will not help you here. You'll have to do without all this. Last fruit rings out. You feel your shining armor vanish, and your father's enchanted blade puffs away in smoke. Suddenly, you are no longer riding astride your noble steed. Instead, you are falling. Falling, falling, falling. Oh cool, this is the first person dungeon crawling. You shot it. Oh, it was a key.
Oh, and that one's locked. Okay. Alright, I did get a little bit spoiled on this because I watched Suspense play it, but I think Suspense only played up to this point. No save button, so I don't know if you can save. It might be a permadeath type of thing. This combat style is very cool. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that yet. I just lost half my health. I probably should have just gone down. Huh? Oh, I can cast. Nice. I thought that might be a blue monster. I don't know if beating those monsters gives me anything. Can I go back to the fountain? Oh, huge. That's so good, actually.
Why am I only getting essence now and not earlier? I forget where my uh, fountain was. Maybe the last one was a tutorial floor, so it didn't count. I don't get it. It seems like I'm parrying this guy, but then sometimes I take damage regardless. I might come back to this one. That is a really strange enemy. Apparently Campanella 2 and 3 are a lot better than the original, but I want to play the original first. I also want to play Pilot's Quest. I think it's like a an official sequel to Planet Zoldad, but like actually good. <laughs> no offense to Planet Zoldad fans, but that that is a game that is uh, not fun until you're playing it for the second time and you know how to do everything. Oh, those are tusks! I thought that was a lady hanging from the ceiling, and the tusks were her legs. Alright, let's journey. Princess Penguin's Provisions. like a less intense jump king or something. How do I move the cursor? Or friendly. This is just Jump King, though. <laughs> Are the fish friendly? Oh, they're extra propeller.
Oh my gosh, wait. I can move so hard. <laughs> that was kind of sick. I don't get it. What is that asking me? Oh, I guess do you want to try again? Um, maybe I'll try again. Do I get to keep the money I got? Oh, I think I always start with 10. Oh, that time I died in one hit. Interesting. The first time I got saved by a penguin. I don't know, this game isn't really gelling with me that much. I didn't really like Jump King. I didn't buy it, so... <laughs> I didn't really give it a chance, but... It kind of just looked like a getting over it clone. Plus I watched someone play it, so... Throw that much energy. Just got a lot darker. I don't know if that penguin's friendly. Oh, if you save a penguin, it brings you back to the checkpoint. move with the uh papers there. So that seems really really good if you can get more of that. Is that a win or is there more? I'm at 99%. Is there bonus up here? Oh. 
Aldor, you finally made it. Unfortunately, we don't have much time to talk. Here in the dream world, seashells represent our psychic link. Since you have only eight shells, I must be brief. Two leggers are on their way towards you. Even as we speak, they draw closer, riding on their dead trees. They plan to kill all of you and take your teeth. The time we have my advice is simple. Run, you lazy blobs. Run for the sea. Now wake up and warn the others. <laughs> the dirt face on the ship. Oh, you got outwitted. Walrus, rise up. Best eight. Okay, so shells are what judges your soul in this game. And I did not get very many of them. Trying to enjoy a nice nap. Get 50 shells. The game's protagonist was based on a stuffed walrus one at Frankie's Family Fun Center. Alright, what did I get from my walrus friend? A bed. Oh, I bet you'll appreciate that, pig. I still haven't seen the ghost. Wait, the pig is dancing! The pig kind of gives me Jake from Adventure Time vibes. That was a very easy gold cart to get, though. <laughs> Wait a second, this isn't the right order. Epic play mean. This is like crazy taxi. Kinda looks like it. Those fingered hills are huge. <laughs> Minimal dangerous strangeness, how boring! Sorry guys, sorry, I'm just learning how to drive, guys. It's okay. Sorry, just... Oh, it's coming. 
<laughs> okay, actually that guy crashed, so they're a worse driver than me. UFO! <laughs> nice. Oh, you shouldn't have parked there. That's a bad place to park. Smash point, Dan at home. I work overtime. Oh yeah, everybody looking forward to overtime. Just don't jump into the acid pool. Everybody's going off the weekend. Everybody needs a dally, and so. To the heart. Better stop from the start. Wanna be in the show? Yeah, I don't have the brain power for this one. You drive, but you go left and right to turn instead of like, you know, using analog stick. And I don't have the brain power for that. Girl. All right, I want something chill I can play. I don't really get how this works. Minus one popularity with plus two cap. That's specific guess. If I had more money, I'd go for rich pal and old friend, because that would be a pretty good combo. I want people that don't give trouble, I think. This one seems really good. This one also seems really good. It's plus two pop, and then you can decide. I want hippie though. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna say, yeah, I'll just end it there. Uh, for popularity, so I could get another hippie. That sounds fun. That was a really good party. Okay, what can I get for six? I 
that seems really good. Brings one guest. Okay. Trouble. Security plus old friend. Although I don't know if I really want cheap ones, but ones that don't have trouble is kind of nice. Two dollars. I think I want rich pal. I want more money. Trouble, but plus four pop. That's a lot. I kind of like driver. Driver is a lot of potential. Not too exciting, but we got some good pop there. Plus a dollar. And try to get more money, maybe. kind of go hard. And then another old friend just to dilute the pool. I don't know if I want to dilute the pool necessarily. expand the house. This is interesting, actually. I'm liking this a lot. And then just get more rich pals. Try to expand the house some more. I'll end it there. Just to play it a bit safe, because I have Three rich pals so I can expand again, which will be really good. To win, okay. I don't know what that means. Alright, I'll take this last rich pal and then try to save up for Auctioneer. there. Plus three pop is pretty nice. Kind of need pop at this point. Boot out, maybe just hippie. Nice. not a great round. I think I'd rather just save up for Alien. Alright, 
I don't really like Cater, but that would be another good way of getting pop. I think I'll just keep building. Pop is probably the best one. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Sorry, wild buddy. <laughs> okay, I thought it would just say your party is too full. Might be worth spending nine for that. Dancer would be how I save up alien. I need four of them, so maybe I should start taking dancers. If I can get four dancers and then a bunch of drivers, maybe. The cat is there. I think the cat used to be a crow. Now if I just get some more drivers, and then I can go for more dancers. Money's still going crazy too, okay. I don't know if there's anything else I really want to spend pop on besides just getting aliens. So I need four aliens in eight rounds, which is kind of a tall order. If I get all of these at 16. doable this is.
Was? Nein. Oh, I could have gotten four dancers there. Kind of misplayed that. Because I had two divers. Drivers, not divers. Oh no. I drew into a driver and I didn't have enough space for the dancers. Okay. Plus one. How much to get rid of one? Action's not available, huh? So I can't use any removals. Okay, that does make this a lot harder. I want the alien just to see what it does. So, okay, so it does reset. The thing about security is that you're still stuck with security at the end, so it's not like... As good. Yeah, I should go for Rockstar. Rockstar seems pretty solid. Better to have a money build. If only there was something like a dancer, but for money, and then I could expand more often. Actually, I'd rather pop than money, so... Eh. Oh, I should have gotten rid of Driver, because Driver doesn't have any value. On its own. Like, Driver is very good, but it doesn't have value, technically. That got me one extra pop. I don't know how that affects scoring, though. I do feel like that was pretty alright for my first run.
Might be a stupid idea, but what if I just take dancers? Although I do need some money. I don't think you start with any money. Oh no, I have one. So I must have some rich friends. It's not enough to get the last one, though. Okay. I wonder what the odds are of getting more than one with this much spaces. Now we're cooking. I want Rockstar, but just like one. And maybe one more driver, but I don't want drivers to dilute the pool too much. That went pretty well. Now I can just save up my pop for like... Actually, this is another good way of just getting pure cash. There we go, that gets me another upgrade right away. So that's really good. But I still want to primarily focus pop, so I don't want more of them. I only need one. That's a double upgrade, that's huge. And then, security is tempting. Like, one security kind of counteracts the driver. I think I still want Auctioneer. Hard to say, though. The answer is really good, because then I get, what, nine? Yeah. Although money might be better early. Because I don't really want to fill up the aliens too fast. Are you new? You're not that great. It is somewhat nice. Is worth it. It's hard to say though. Yeah, I got greedy. <sighs> so, whenever that happens, it's basically just like a, a wash because you just lose a round without getting any resources for it. So it might just be worth it to always play safe, even though it's a bit lame. Maybe I should buy one more driver. Section Auctioneer was a little tempting there. I don't know, I got five pop. Was it worth it to quit there? <laughs> Probably not, honestly. I 
kind of prioritizing cash right now. One more auction here might even be worth it. Or just more dive drivers. Put in two more dancers, which is really nice. Didn't really want to take the risk. I didn't really want to boot out uh, to popularity. Oh, that's another alien? Okay. This is looking a lot more doable now that I know what the goal is. I had to go for it. I could have gotten security or something. It's seven. I only have two aliens. I should probably stop doing that. I should just keep buying you. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Oh man, that's not chill at all. At least I had two of those dancers. If I could just buy more dancers, this would be a lot easier. Are there. It's like exactly what I needed. Yeah. Kind of want like one more security, but that might be a little risky. Nice auctioneer right at the end. Exactly what I needed. Alright, five more rounds. Can I get one more alien in that time? I have three. I just need one more. One treble so I can have Rockstar come by. Yeah. Is that enough? One more round of that. That should do it. That should do it. I don't know if the odds were better there or not, but we did it. That was the last round. <laughs> we're the ultimate party win. Wow, one with one day left. That was pretty intense. Did that get me the uh, the thing? Yeah. Okay. Based on our friends and family, beat all five scenarios. That is a cool one. I like that one a lot. 
I got the hat rack. No, that's Seaside Drive. <laughs> Calendar. Oh, I see it. That was fun. Should go to bed. But what's like one thing I could play very quickly? Not, um, Mooncat as tempting as it is. That takes a little too long. I'm gonna try Vanger again. Maybe see if I can figure it out. <laughs> Our new nano walls can be connected to security droids. The walls stay up as long as the droids are active. Oh, they shoot the same two side drive projectiles. Interesting. We should keep Dr. Epsilon in stasis until we study the virus further. They'll be safe there. They. Wookie McPronouns. Oh my god, this is just the Metroid map system. That's so good. Security sentries have turned against me. Gray body gun. Our Avenger has extended senses which allow it to see further by looking up or down for a brief time. Yeah, this is just Spelunky. Spelunky Troid. That's a one shot? Interesting. Is there anything one shot in this? Definitely seems like this is not where I should be right now. That's very Metroid like. One thing to to make you do that, it's another thing to like force you to do that. Kind of annoying. Like what? What's with that area over there? That seems suspicious. Oh. Who put all this toxic runoff in my Metroid? What remains? I guess it is technically nicer than how Metroid does it, because you have to go back. Oh, that's a one-shot, huh? Where does that send me? Does that send me back to the... Oh, back to here.
I'm kind of tired and this game seems like a, a thinky thinky game. This is, it looks like it isn't, but it is. This also is, but it looks like it isn't. Star Wasps. You know what? I'm gonna play more Dole 2. I don't care. It just looks too cool. Oh my god, that's Pilot on the left, I think. That looks like the pin golf cast, actually. Like, straight up. They're reviving the evil? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why'd they do that? Seems like it takes a lot of lives. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do this. Alright, one more and then we'll be able to see what's over here. So does this character also charge to become a bomb? That did not deal as much damage as I thought. I can just keep doing it though. <laughs> Is this really how you're supposed to beat this? Maybe you can use the gunner to shoot from afar? Actually, if I could lure this guy over here. Oh, I got him. Okay, let's go back to the warrior. I had like a boomerang guy.
I see. Oh, I could have used that to get over here easier. Gosh, where did you come from? I was scratching my eye. Maybe you can't use yeah to get there. I, think I need gunner for this. That was like an awful bike placement. One block left. Is that dodgeable? I keep forgetting it's one to the left. teleporter oh my god why does it not work it looks like that's supposed to teleport me to it maybe I have to use the, the other spot where I put it down it totally looks like it should Oh my gosh, what got me? I hate that if the teleporter works, I would have saved that death. That's really annoying. I'm trying to use the characters to my advantage, but they just don't work for some reason. No! What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Bruh. That's so mean. The teleporter just brings you back. Why? Why would they design it like that? Alright, well now it's gone, so it can't hurt me anymore. Oh 
Oh, I miss. Do I want to beat these dinos out? I don't even know. So if I switch to warrior... Maybe I have to combine it with something? I can't even get up that first jump with Warrior. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no way to save our game on. It does look shorter though, at least. Hot tub. I don't know the significance of that. We have a... Strawberry? Oh no, that was the pig. It just looked like a strawberry. Where were the possums from? Oh, they chase. Wait, no. Possums and Impact. Oh. I don't think there were any possums and Impact. There has to be some reason that they're connected. Oh, because possums eat sandwiches? Maybe? There has to be an explanation for how to use the teleporter. Okay, let me try something else. Maybe you have to use two lives to connect the, um... Wait, what? Why does it work now? I put my, my stone form on this because I thought it was a button. So the teleporter is just completely inaccessible to me, okay. <laughs> so I just made it harder on myself by not knowing how it worked, okay. Yay, video games. Right, I'm probably gonna take a break there. This game did not feel like UFO 50, which is saying a lot. <laughs>
<laughs> also, this game I really like. Which is kind of funny, because I didn't like the... the similar idea here with Bug Hunter. Um, and the other tactics games in the collection. I haven't really been too into. I do want to go back and play Devolution. Attractix, I'm not too into. It's interesting, but it's... I don't like that it pushes you forward in real time. I kind of wish, like, if you're going to be a strategy game, let me strategize, you know? But that might just be me. People might like that more. Also, Vanger is a lot better now that I know how to get past the second screen. I wonder how many people did get stuck there. <laughs> Trying to drop through that platform. There probably is a way to hit at it. So how many have we not even tried yet? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then a couple of these I didn't play for too long. This one I played like 5 minutes. This one I don't actually remember. Oh yeah, this was the arena one. This one I played a lot of. This one I played for like 5 minutes. This one I played for 5 minutes. This one I actually didn't play. I played for a little bit. Yeah, the party house is very cool. Caramel Caramel. Oh yeah, this was another shoot em up. We're not too into shoot em ups. Unless they're like Zero Ranger and really exciting. This one is such a cute icon. I wish it wasn't a strategy game. Block Koala. I might need to give Block Koala another shot. I like the aesthetics of it. I like the ideas behind it, but... I'm just kind of uh, bored of sliding blocks around Baba's U style. But I don't know, I might warm up to it, we'll see. I did really like camouflage. They're right next to each other. <laughs> camouflage might be my favorite. Is that crazy to say? Camouflage is just such a cute little game. I feel like they could have definitely made a sequel to it. If Campanella can get three, why can't Camouflage get one? <laughs> Although I guess Pilot is kind of the mascot for UFO 50. But Pilot gets, what, five games if you count Zoldath and Pilot Quest? Mortal, the guy looks like Pilot, but I don't think that is Pilot. But apparently, Planet Zoldath is pilot, even though, look how serious this looks compared to this pilot. They are like different characters. I kind of like that though. I like it how Campanella 3 doesn't have a 3 on it, but 2 has a giant 2 on it. Because people were hyped about sequels. I remember they called it Sonic and Knuckles, so they didn't have to call it, like, Sonic 3 or whatever. Or maybe Sega just really liked Knuckles and wanted to show him off. Now, which was the easier goal? The Waldorf or this one? I think this one was easier, because you got the cherry basically just for free. Whereas this one, Alec will have to go back at some point. One with eight shells. I need 50 shells. That's a lot. Probably gonna go to bed now, but fun day. Got a lot of progress. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.